Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox. Welcome to day one of 30 Days to a Better Compliance Program. Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox. I'm the Compliance Evangelist. I would like to welcome you to an exciting new series I'm putting on each month in 2017. In the month of January, I'm going to go through 30 days to a better compliance program. So each day, I will detail some part of a compliance program that you can utilize to help you improve to have a best practices compliance program for 2017. With the operationalization of compliance mandated by the Department of Justice in the form of their Compliance Council, Wei Chin, and incorporated into the FCPA pilot program announced by the Department of Justice in April 2016, it's more important than ever that you upgrade your compliance program and show how you've operationalized. In this series, I'm going to help you do that. I hope you will enjoy this series. I hope you will join me, and I look forward to this journey with you. Commitment from senior management and a clearly articulated policy against corruption. Tone at the top is clearly one of the most ubiquitous phrases in compliance. Many commentators have uh, derided it as basically meaningless, yet I think they miss the key part or key component that under any compliance program, any compliance regime, whether it's based upon the FCPA, the UK Bribery Act, uh, the OECD Good Practices, uh, the Brazilian Clean Companies Act, the New Mexican law, wherever it's based on, if you don't have an appropriate tone at the top and commitment from senior management, then you're not going to have an effective compliance program. So uh, how do you get tone at the top? What does that mean? It means that senior management has to not only give uh, overarching or high-level statements about uh, the culture of compliance and doing business compliance, in compliance and ethically, but you need to have that reinforced and then implemented by middle managers and employees throughout the levels of the business. But the DOJ and SEC expect uh, senior management to do more than say the right things you actually have to do the right things as well. And indeed, the uh, FCPA guidance states the strong ethical culture directly supports a strong compliance program. By adhering to ethical standards, senior managers will inspire middle managers to reinforce these standards. Compliant middle managers, in turn, will encourage employees to strive to attain these standards throughout the organization. In short, compliance with the FCPA and ethical rules must start with the stop with the top, both the DOJ and the SEC will evaluate whether senior management has clearly articulated company standards, communicated them in unambiguous terms, adhered to them scrupulously, and disseminated them throughout the organization. So how are some of the things that, uh, how you can, can you do this? Well, clearly you need to have the CEO of the company make a statement, and he needs to make that statement multiple times. He can make that statement via uh, video uh, podcast or video recording. He can make an audio statement. He can send out an email. He needs to uh, be and reinforce that message. The best description I've ever heard was one time when I described this role to a CEO of a company, he looked at me and said, oh, I'm the ambassador. And that's exactly it. Senior management has to be the ambassador of compliance. That means you have to talk about compliance more than simply once a year. And the managers and CEO, excuse me, the senior level must continually emphasize this uh, going forward. But remember, it's more than simply the good tone at the top. It must move down throughout an organization from senior management to middle management into lower uh, ranks of the company. This means that one of the tasks of the company, including any organization, is to get middle management to respect the stated ethics and values of a company because if they do so, it will be communicated down through the organization. What should be the tone in um, the middle? Well, this role is critical because the majority of company employees work most directly with the middle rather than the top uh, management, and consequently, they're going to take their cues from how middle management responds to a situation. 
Further, if middle management is listening to the concern of employees, this can create a, uh, not only a dialogue, but it can impact change. And even if your middle management cannot af af immediately affect a direct change, it's important that employees need to have an outlet to express their concerns. Uh, I think uh, most studies will show that almost every whistleblower who goes to the Security and Exchange Commission or somewhere else outside the company took their concerns to uh, management, middle management first, and they were rebuffed. So it's going to be a, a, a clear skill of middle management to listen, and your organization should train middle managers to enhance their listening skills in the context of providing training for a manager's toolkit. Uh, this is something that companies should provide to their middle managers. This can be particularly true if a compliance violation or other incident requires a form of employee discipline. It's important that there be organizational justice uh, in, the, in the context of what's called the fair process doctrine, but employees must feel like that their concerns are being heard going forward. So what about uh, tone at the bottom? Well, even if you have great tone at the top and you have great tone in the middle, you can't stop there. One of the greatest challenges for the compliance practitioner is to impact um, or affect the tone at the bottom. To do so, you must engage those at the front lines through training, communication, and tools to accomplish this task. A key question is how to tap into the belief system at the bottom of an organization. I think the answer is to engage employees in a manner which allows them to not only uh, communicate up, but also put their collective experiences together so that you will better understand what uh, is actually happening on the front lines. The key is that you must not only talk the talk of compliance, but you must walk the walk of compliance. And it's, inc it's, in, it's incumbent that you do, through, do so through every level of the organization. How, how do you get to, how do you tap into each level? Uh, in the middle management is in many ways the most difficult because their uh, middle managers are going to have to answer to senior management and they're going to have to lead. So listening uh, at middle management, I, I emphasize that again, the middle managers who've been promoted up often uh, don't have this skill because they haven't had to utilize this skill. So having a middle managers who will listen and giving middle managers the tools to impact and affect change brought up by the bottom is going to be a key manner in which you uh, can communicate up and down the organization. But it all starts at the top, and senior management must start with the uh, it must start with senior management, and senior management must emphasize that employees will be rewarded for or conversely disciplined from not doing business in compliance and in within the company's code of conduct, their anti-corruption compliance program, and the ethical values stated by the company. So it goes up and down. It's a two-way street of communication. It certainly starts with the top. It has to move through the middle, and it has to go through the bottom. But don't simply think that because you're at the bottom, uh, that's where it ends, because communication has to go back up through the top. Many of the key prevention controls can be enhanced by having communications from employees at the bottom or those on the front lines who see, hear, and know things that corporate executives at the home office don't know. The three key takeaways from day one of 30 days to a better compliance program are the three tones. The tone at the senior executive level at the top, the tone in the middle, and the tone at the bottom. So remember the three tones when you're setting your expectations of compliance and always document, document, document. Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox again. I'd like to thank you for listening to day one of 30 Days to a Better Compliance Program. Each day, I will focus on one of my books, which will give you more insight into the daily topic. Today, it is Anti-Bribery Leadership, which is available on Amazon.com. This will help your organization set the tone at the top and then cascade it down through the organization. 
This is Tom Fox. Thank you very much for listening to day one of 30 Days to a Better Compliance Program.